This sludge and nastiness is what we're filtering out of our water. Hey guys, Jen here with Cats and Grace. Um, today's video is a little bit, I guess, more on the homestead side of what I do on my channel, but um, I wanted to share this because I found it really kind of gross and <laughs> interesting all at the same time. Uh, about a year ago, we decided to get a Berkey water filter. We did that because we were constantly going to Walmart, refilling water, getting purified water for a water cooler that we have now um, stopped using since we started using our Berkey. And it's been great. I mean, the water tastes wonderful. Uh, it's paid for itself in less than that year, to what we were paying refilling water jugs. And I've really been surprised cleaning this thing out. I clean it out every so often, but I'll put all the information of which size and all of that and how much everything costs for our Berkey in the description box below. Okay, so today I am cleaning everything out. These things get kind of slimy and gross after a while, which just says how gross our water is. Now we do not live out of town. We live in town. We are in a farming community. We do have a water filtration plant. We've got a water tower, you know, your normal um, in-town stuff. We don't have wells in our community. Um, not in town anyway. So, I'm cleaning this out today. In our filtered city water, this is part of what we're filtering out. That's disgusting. That's gross. This is in-town clean water, guys. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm just going to kind of show what I do. So I got, when I bought this, I got the chlorine filters and the carbon filters. Okay, so we've got that filter that goes on the bottom, this filter that goes on the top. And like I said, I only clean it out every once in a while. So how I clean it out is I take a rag, I put a little vinegar on it, and I wipe out that. That's what we would be drinking. That's what we would be consuming, putting in our bodies. It's calcium, lime, rust, a lot of rust, and we do not need that in our bodies. That's disgusting. This is from one swipe. Ew. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing here. So I have got the top part of my Berkey sitting right here, and I am just going to untwist And then I just pull out the carbon. You want to see something really gross? Look at that. This sludge and nastiness is what we're filtering out of our water. Okay, so I'm going to take some vinegar. So I poured a little bit of the white vinegar in here and I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. And then I dump it and wipe it out. That is disgusting. That is what we're filtering, y'all. Gross. It's almost 11.30. When I take this thing apart, the first thing I do is I put vinegar in that bottom part that's holding all of our fresh water. So now I'm going to reprime the filters. So when you get a Berkey, it comes with a couple of these. And what you do is you just kind of fit it. I mean, you don't shove it on there, but you just kind of put it on there snug. And then you want to get a good seal. Now this is why I'm in the bathroom doing this because it's the only faucet that we have that I can get a good seal around here. And you want higher pressure. And what this is doing is it's forcing the water out and it's priming your filter again. Whoop. See, and that's why we're in the bathroom, because that happens. So I let that run through for a little bit. Take this top off, and they are primed, so you want to put them back in, primed. So now I'm going to do these filters. So I let this one run until it's clear, because this is cloudy, it's got a lot of buildup in it. I mean, not tons, most of it is in those carbon filters. But it does get cloudy, now it looks good and clear. And then I just rinse off any residue. Again, you want to make sure you're putting this filter on nice and full. Okay. 
Now I want to say when you're working with these carbon filters, you do not want to put any vinegar or any cleaner or anything on here. You just want to use the exact method that they tell you how to use. And that's just this little disc that they give you. Put it on the top, push it on with tap water that has decent pressure to it. If you don't have good enough pressure, you're not going to get it cleaned through all the way and get them primed right. So now that the top is done, I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom and I'm going to clean that out, give it a good wipe down and set my Berkey back up. Try and get a decent shot here, but that is vinegar soaking at the bottom there. But that's how I know it is time to clean this thing out if I'm still getting deposits down here. Honestly, I mean, doing an honest review here, I was kind of expecting a little more. Um, our Berkey has always filtered like this. I don't know if it's because the type of filters we have or what. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't even put that much research into it um, to see why I'm still getting mineral deposits. It might just not be able to filter all of that stuff out. It filters a lot out and you can really taste the difference if you're drinking that nasty tap water or if you're drinking filtered Berkey water. When I'm cleaning out the bottom and rinsing this through, I also want to make sure that I clean through the tap too. So I will let it run with vinegar and then I'll run, uh, let it run a little bit a couple times with tap water. And I do that just to make sure everything is good and clean and I don't have a lot of mineral buildup once we get our good filtered water through there. So here is the finished product. It's good as good as I can get it for right now. It's a whole lot better. So now I am going to set up the Berkey and fill it and we'll have good clean water again. I cleaned out the Berkey, I put it all back together, I filled it up, and in a couple hours we will have a full thing of water for us to drink. I love this Berkey. I don't have to do this very often. It does take some kind of pre-planning if you want to have clean filtered water. I just kind of got in the habit of filling it up at night so that we've got it ready to go in the morning. And then um, I fill it once in the afternoon. So twice a day is what I end up filling it. So after a year of having it, is it worth it? Absolutely. I would absolutely recommend a Berkey to someone that is thinking about getting one. Um, if I would have done anything different, I would have gotten the bigger size. So that is it for my review and my clean out of our Berkey water filter. This is not an affiliate video. I'm just giving an honest opinion of what we think and how we've enjoyed our Berkey water filter over the last year. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone that you think would find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos we put out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.